Hello, my name is John Jarbo, and I'm a Technical Marketing Manager at Sencha. The Sencha platform helps you rapidly build data-intensive cross-platform apps that deliver the right experience on the right screen at the right time. XJS provides a modern, object-oriented JavaScript framework with hundreds of beautiful, dynamic, high-performance HTML5 components, robust data and layout managers, easy customization, and accessibility. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how easily an app can be built using the drag-and-drop WYSIWYG capabilities of Sencha Architect. Sencha Architect is available as part of the XJS Pro and Premium packages. In the interest of time, I'm going to gloss over some common cosmetic settings so that I can focus on creating a functional application. If you'd like to create this application yourself, the steps are detailed in our quick start guide in the Architect documentation. I'll start by creating a new project, which utilizes our XJS 6.2 Modern Toolkit. The app itself will provide a simple employee directory. There will be tabs allowing users to switch between the directory and a page containing information about the company and app. Into our blank app, I'll drag in a tab panel followed by a grid for the directory. To help me navigate the project, I'll rename the tab panel to main, and I'll rename the tabs to reflect their purpose. I would normally remove tabs 2 and 3. Now that I have a skeleton, I'll save the project. Next, I'll add a model for the employee data, which will be contained in the grid. I'll give it fields for first and last name, location, and phone number. I'll also add a store for the records, which uses the model I just created. Normally, this would link to a remote data source, but I'm going to store some mock data for purposes of this sample app. Now let's link the store to the grid so we can see the employee list. Since this is designed for a mobile app, the list will just include the employee names. Let me clear out the columns I don't need, then add another string column for the last name. I'll link it to my store, then set up the columns for the first and last names. At this point, you can see that the app displays both columns, and they're showing the mock data. Now that we have the list, let's focus on making the rest of the data in our model available. This will be presented in a window that appears when a user taps on an employee. I'll add the form which will display the detailed information and set it up as a modal panel, which is centered on the screen. The form will contain four text fields, one for each field of our model. Next, I'll add a toolbar at the bottom which contains a close button. I'll add some CSS classes to the button so it shows the close icon, and I'll add a handler for the tap event. Double-clicking the handler will let me add or edit the code for that handler, which I'll save. With the panel ready, I'll now add a handler to the grid which will display the panel when the user taps on an item in the grid. The handler code will open the panel and pass the employee information to the view model. If we look at the application again, we can see that the panel displays when we select a record. Now I just need to bind the fields in the panel to the relevant field in the employee record. When we run the app, we can see that selecting a row brings up a panel that contains all the information for that employee. In about five minutes, I was able to create a simple app containing an employee directory in the Sensei Architect GUI. I use standard XJS components, but Architect can also work with customized components created by your developers. Changing the app is as simple as point and click, and you can drill down to modify the source code if necessary. Using Sencha Architect will help your developers shorten development cycles while reducing the likelihood of errors. More information and videos about XJS and the Sencha platform are available on our website. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to check back soon for more videos about Sencha products. 
and visit Sencha.com to find out how we can further support your development needs.